Hello and welcome to the show. In this video, we're making this zero banner with the.com and using the gradient property in CSS. As always, please subscribe to the channel below and join us at www.nocodevs.com. Check it out. Right, so to make this cool gradient effect, what we need to do is on my d.com dashboard for the site, I have to create a new block. I'm gonna call this gradient. Click on that, there we go. I'm gonna add an element. I'm going to look for a div. There we go. So I'm going to call this one image container. There we go. So this is going to be, we're going to go into, right? So what we want for this is going to be 60% or 70% just for the height, 100% for width. There we go. That's it. So here we want to go to background image. There we go. Put in my image. That's it. Here, but no repeat. Put that already and contain no we want not contain we want cover there we go perfect just what we wanted then inside this div we want to create another div and this is going to be the gradient this is going to be the color gradient All right so in here we'll go back so this we want this a hundred percent of the above nope so this is put this make sure that's in there there we go that's 100% of this and 100% width. Perfect. Now for gradients, there's several different ways you can do it. What you found, or I found is this is really, really helpful. So this is the kind of gradient we want. And what you can do for gradients, if you just put this linear one here. Now for, for linear, for the gradients, you don't need to put background color. What you need to go into, for some reason, you need to background image. That is where the gradient goes. And for linear one, so you can go, oh, Doing the wrong thing but linear dash gradient and as it says there you can have a color as well copy that there we go so that's the linear gradient now obviously at the minute it's not see-through so you would change the opacity as well so we change the opacity i'll put it on to it gives you options here one's full obviously 75 that too much maybe that's too much 0.5 that's a lot better we can also do as well is in here you don't necessarily have to have these colors so you don't have to define colors you can have type of color as well with a hashtag and you can have rgb colors as well so you can have all different types of colors well where you want to put it we'll put blue in there we go what you can also have as well you can have a direction i'm sure your direction says it this is says to the right copy that shrink that in there Comma to the right, as you can see, that's to the right. With blue to the right, to the left, and that to the right there. You can put it into, you can put it onto degrees as well. So it's like 150 day, like that. You can have 150, so, so the yellow's down here. Perfect. So I'll leave it like that for the time being. You can have different kinds of gradients as well. You can have multiple color ones. So we can even add an extra color in there as well. There we go, so it's from red, blue, to yellow but we can also you don't also have to have to have linear as well you can have it spiral if you want to you can have it radial so it says here so it looks like this here so let's try a radial one out this is what radial looks like put that over so get rid of the linear there we go so that's radial so obviously we let radial you don't have the degrees so it's with the red in the middle blue and the yellow on the outside you can have conical as well and that's conic right so that's all the different ones you can have i see quite a varied mix you can have a play around with definitely but really really cool really useful to know and makes a really cool effect try linear again leave it on linear makes a really cool effect well i hope this is uh you found this useful this video and check us out at no code devs and keep on building <laughs>